Well, here we go. Um, this is my first video ever made. No, this is my first video ever since uh, introducing the Patreon goal. By the time I'm recording this, I actually have already reached the $500 uh, goal for that, so thank you everyone who's put into that. Um, hopefully it will lead to something good. Um, I have no idea what the hell Meme Run is, but I feel compelled to find out. Let's see. Um, but I'm just I'm just gonna waste a bit of time here before I I can't really like show I can't really move and poke the people while I'm showing it on the TV. But like, what the hell is this game? I don't even know. Anyway, Pikmin three. I've said I was gonna do this for forever now, and I'm finally gonna do it. And that's all I have to say about the game. End of LP. No. Hopefully this one will not be wrought with issues like Pikmin 2 was. If you all remember, that one um, was recorded about three years before it was actually uploaded. And the quality was worse than Potato. And it just kind of went through some issues. Uh, right now I'm using a capture device that is kind of a piece of shit. Uh, it caused a lot of issues with Melee, but it hasn't had any issues so far with the Wii U, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, when you boot up this game for the first time on an account that, like, hasn't played it, uh, there's, like, this intro that plays. I'm hoping that it'll do that once I actually do this. Um, I didn't feel like making a new account or whatever, and you can't make a new file. Yeah, here we go. Not sure what this announcer voice is. I don't remember how long this cutscene is either. Because they're just kind of idiots that way. But yeah, it's, I, I actually thought about the plot of this game like a bit before starting this. And, yeah, they ran out of food, but they have enough resources to send out, like, all these different satellites and rockets and stuff, so... Then that started making me think, like, how do the Pikmin rockets work? Because the thing is, like, obviously, I have, like, a warp drive and that's sci-fi, whatever, we can't expect it to be realistic. But these things are, like, too small to contain any, like, amount of fuel to get them out of a planet's atmosphere. And... They do use, like, a combustion engine. Like, we see this. So, I don't know. It, it's important to analyze this. Most important part of the game. Also, it was important to loop those planets there. That was so you could get, like, the special 500-point bonus or some shit like that. I don't know. I was gonna make, like, some Nights into Dreams reference, but fuck if I know how that game works. I've played it about twice. They flew right into that line there. This game is very nice looking. Maybe it's just because the Wii U is my first HD system, but it's like really freaking good looking, at least in my opinion. It's like we had the 360 before this, but we don't have the HDMI cable for it and never bothered because it looked fine. And then we get this thing and it's like, Oh, hey, this is that f newfangled HD crap everyone's talking about. Let's see, can I play with the Wiimote yet? I'm, I've never used the Wiimote controls for this game, so I'm, like, going to try them out for this to see what it's like. I guess I'm using the gamepad for right now. But anyway, as we see there, this game breaks Pikmin tradition by not starting with reds. You might actually start with reds in the non-tutorial section, though. I don't remember. It's been like a year since I played this. Actually, it's been a bit over a year. I don't remember when it came out, but it said copyright 2013. Anyway, here is the uh, Wii U gamepad made by Mattel. Or, like, I'm trying to think, like, what toy company could have made that thing. I don't even know. Also, I noticed that this thing has, like, 
if you look on the bottom right, it has like the little fake perforations that like a toy cell phone would have instead of having actual holes in it. But this thing is supposed to be an actual device, so why are they fake? Unless those are buttons, but if they were, they looked really crappy. These characters have great voices. I should probably actually turn it up a bit on my end, because I can barely freaking hear it. Okay, so here we go. Gasp, there are Pikmin abound. Let me actually see if I can uh, change the thing here. Oh, is the Wiimote not synced to the system? That's probably it. Oh, boy. Okay, first uh, first instance of editing. Go. Okay, let's see here. Do I have... Yep, there we go. Okay. So, I've never used these controls. I'll see how they go. No, that's the home menu. Good job. Okay. Well, it is good to know you still move with the control stick. No, I don't know. I assume I don't get fluid camera control, but that's fine. The first two games didn't have that either. For those who don't know, um, this game actually does have, like, camera control with the right stick if you're using the gamepad. Um, and there is no equivalent to the swarming that the C-stick did in the first two games. It's just kind of missing. But luckily the game is designed in such a way that you never need it. Shake this. Ugh. Why would you shake the nunchuck to disperse? And I accidentally changed to channel 6 because I'm holding way too much shit. Right. Okay, so easy enough. Except for the shaking nunchuck a bit. That's slightly annoying, but hopefully I will get used to it. And how do we have camera? How do we have camera? Maybe you just don't get it yet. This area might be, like, camera locked. Do I have rolling? No, you get that later. So anyway, um... Yeah, this game has, like, three control methods, I think. There's the regular, like, use the controller without any extra gimmicks mode. There's the Wiimote, like, pointer control mode. Oh, Okay, there we go. Um, and then there's the stylus mode, which I think is pretty much like the Wiimote mode, but um, with a stylus, obviously. I haven't ever used that one either. Um, when I played through the game the first time, I just used the regular gamepad controls, and I was fine with it. Um, apparently speedrunners like the Wiimote because it lets you move in one direction while throwing backwards and that kind of stuff. I can see that being useful. Not needed for a casual run, but I figured I would try it out for this one. This place I'm going to just call uh, Eye Candy Bridge. Also, the snowflakes should totally be snowflakes and not just those weird chunks that they are. I'm going to bitch about that now. Here, poke a mushroom. You die now. I don't know if I actually have the ability to, like, target stuff yet. Let's see. Oh, no, I... Well, kind of do. Uh, I'm assuming target and shake with this control setup. Because, yeah, as I mentioned, they got rid of the swarming, but they introduced the, um... have stuff just kind of home in on something and beat the shit out of it technique, and it is very broken. I did not know it existed until about two-thirds of the way through the game. Also, Charlie just died there. Never see him again for the rest of the game. Well, it's 8.46 a.m. That question is now answered. Thank God. thing just kind of crapped out, didn't it? And then we do the tutorial again. Hey, what are these things? I can call them with B. No, I don't think it does all that again. At least I freaking hope it doesn't. These are miracle. Have to 
And then for the rest of this game, uh, Alf here will be replaced with Alf from Cubivore. That would actually be freaking awesome, just running around with this random dog panda made of dominoes. Alf! And Drake! So, question for the audience. Which show did you like better? Keenan and Kel or Drake and Josh? I don't know. This is my curious face. It is also the only face that I have. Okay, I guess this is the uh, exposure to the onion. It's unusual that they didn't introduce them at the same time, but whatever. I guess we had to establish that Charlie died. So. Also, I am locked in place right now. I don't know why. I guess they really didn't want me to move away. So onions are a bit different in this game. There are a lot more fluid, I guess. And also more mechanical looking, but at the same time not. I don't know, it's like, weird. The onions are weird anyway, this game is freaking weird. Okay, and now we get to collect stuff, because this is Pikmin and this is what we do. You get out of there. And do we have any other stragglers? No, doesn't look like it. So this is a new mechanic here. Um, well, if we're starting to do it, I will demonstrate here. Um, basically, when you have piles of stuff and they carry it, um, Pikmin will automatically go back to get more, which is cool when you um, have like a big pile that needs to be carried. Uh, but it is also very annoying at the same time because, as we'll see here in a bit, um, they actually start to go back even after all the pieces are picked up. So, like, if you plan for that, that's fine, but it took me a freaking long time to get used to it. And, um, it's just really annoying because, like, you want them to be... Like, let, let's say that I'm, like, trying to multitask here, or, like, they're finishing this bridge and stuff, and I just want to move on. And, yeah, like, right right there, the cutscene interrupted it. Like, let's say I was in a big hurry. Like, now I have to run back and get them. And, yeah, right now it's only this far, but you can see how that might be a problem in cases. Hopefully it will not be too big of an issue. As I said, it, you kind of get used to it after a while, but it's still kind of irritating. Okay, so let's get our... Let's see, I said Mattel for the first one. Fisher Price, that's it. Or, like, Play School. Or Poundland. Um, also, that thing is totally just a giant, like, camera on the other side. I am indeed looking at the Wii U gamepad. Um, you can't see this, but it says, Great, it still works. Of course, I'd expect nothing less from Copite Engineering. Unable to switch con... Okay. Um, I figured since I was using... Never mind. Let's see, I'll check my surroundings by tapping and sliding the cop pad screen. Nope. Where's the princess? Oh, I guess you can see it in there. So, yeah, I guess I will slide it. Look, there is a thing. Aha, uh -huh. here's the problem. The drake isn't that far from here. Maybe the... <laughs> okay, no, that's enough of that. It's good that you can say that, even though it's, like, Sega CD vision. Or it's, like, the size of a pancreas. Nope. I guess having the, uh... Oh, no. These level 1 bunny rabbits are trying to murder me. No. Um. The extra sensitivity on the, uh, Wiimote control is kind of nice. I always still feel like, uh... In most cases, I prefer just standard button and stick controls to motion, but motion can be fine. It just depends on the game. Wait, how did he see it from all the way over there? Plot hole! I will name every single Pikmin in this game. 
Let's see, this one is... Well, I'm making enough Ashens references today, so this one will be Jeffy, this one is not Jeffy, and this one is Face Horse. Those are the only three that have names, though. I lied. Okay, screw that thing. So, usual growing crap. I have no idea how long this first segment is going to go. Um, I, I'm going to be having a regular video times on these. Um, by that, just to clarify, I said irregular, not a regular. But, um, yeah, it's like... For this one, because this first day has, like, tutorial crap, it's probably going to go a bit slower. Had the cutscene at the beginning. Whatever. I mean, I'll probably just split this by the day. And, um, I guess since I haven't really given, like, a mission statement or anything for this LP, uh, that's because there really isn't one. This isn't going to be, like, a challenge run. And, um, I might as well explain that right now. Um, basically why that's the case. I figured, um... There's basically two major challenges you can do with Pikmin. And, um, the one, the, like, playthrough I did for Pikmin 2 was, a, in, like, corporation of both of those. It's the Zero Death Run and the Minimum Days Run. Um, both of those have their fair share of problems, basically, because the No, the no Death Run is honestly how I like to play the game, but it also requires a lot of resetting and that would completely kill any kind of live commentary. And yeah, I could do post-commentary, but screw that. Um, so, I mean, I'm gonna play it safe, obviously. I don't want to just, like, throw up March Pikmin to their deaths and crap, but, uh, I'm not gonna reset if I lose any. If I lose, like, a huge amount, then I probably will, but I mean, I'll... Whatever. I'll just play the game a normal human being probably would. And, um, as for the minimum day run, the thing is, I could, like, do research on strategies for that and stuff, and, um, like, get good enough at the game to pull it off, but the problem with doing that is that, um, as I ended up doing with the Pikmin 2 run, again, it would have to be post-commentary, most likely, and also, um, it basically means I would just be copying other people's strategies, because, like, I'm not gonna just go through the game and, like, actually plan the routes myself and figure out how to do everything fast. I'm just gonna find a, like, method that works and do it. And at that point, you might as well watch, like, a speedrun of somebody who is actually good at the game and did the planning and is not just ripping them off. I don't know. There we go. There's the charge move. And there we have uh, Jeffy not helping out. Or is it Face Horse? I can't tell. I don't know. What is it? It's a weird physical representation of a data file. Makes all of the sense. Tiny text. This is officially called Sega CD mode from now on. Oh yeah, I have to mess with the camera on this. I forgot you could do that. Um, well, let's see. Unless this like automatically ends the day or something. I assume it doesn't. I probably have to like accomplish something first. All right, let me sign, let me find something picturesque. There's a flower thing. Not that special, though. Here, I will get a shot of the mushrooms and the lights. And first I have to move Pikmin in the way. And let's see if this works with the... Yeah, here we go. Uh, this is going to be a really shitty picture. Quick, Dutch angle, go. Or just entirely sideways. Okay, that'll be one for the album. Touch to focus. No, I don't want to leave a freaking Meverse post. Okay, um, whatever. <laughs> I probably will not be doing anything with that feature. It's interesting to have, but it's slightly useless. Okay. 
I guess I should probably destroy these to see if there's like data files or something. I mean, most of them are just going to be telling me how to do stuff I already know, but you never know. You might get a random number. I actually do not know what those things even do, if anything. I probably will, uh, after the 400 people tell me in the comments, though, so... And do we have anything? No, it looks like we do not. Excellent. And apparently we're walking into a freaking stage light here, like Jesus Christ. It is magnificent. It is also Robo Puppy. Also, Alf turned into, like, I mentioned Fisher Price earlier. He looks like a freaking Fisher Price toy right now. Like, I don't know if, I don't remember that being the graphical style that they chose for this game. I like when they have the claymation stuff and like the instruction books and stuff, but he looks like a freaking toy. It's weird. And she gets attacked by the Balrog. No, I don't know. So I will mention right now the thing that Brenna pointed out here. Um, she is wearing glasses inside a helmet. If they ever, like, slide down her face or something, like, that would freaking suck, because you can't reach up and fix it. I hope they're, like, glued to her face. What the hell was that noise? Is Wario around? Okay, I legitimately thought that was a stomach rumbling for a second. I didn't know it was actually supposed to be creatures. So that's why I thought it was Wario, because it sounded like he was about to, like use his waft, but I don't know. Yep, combustion engine. Where is the gas? The secret is the Wario waft. Okay, so that was actually shorter than I thought it would be. Um... I at least got the basics out there, like, explained what I'm going to be doing and stuff. And by that, I mean explaining exactly what I'm not going to be doing. Well, time for me to drink this uh, blue Powerade here. That's another thing I'll complain about later, is the fact that the rations, it doesn't even matter how many people are sharing it, it's the same no matter what. Oh wait, I just complained about it. Let's replay. Um, how do I? Oh, it's never mind. It's I was like, I'm not sure. I didn't even know what that was. It just if you don't have the game and you haven't seen it, the replay option basically it just shows a map of the level and you can like slide a thing to show like your character's movement and stuff. I guess that's interesting for like planning. I don't know. So, hopefully the second day will be uh, marginally more interesting than the first. I... Will you fuck off, phone? Where's the phone? Okay. Um, I don't remember if there's more tutorial stuff. There probably is. So, anyway, um... As far as Patreon stuff goes, um... I don't really have anything major to announce yet. Anything really worth saying would have been said on the Patreon itself or on Twitter. Um, I obviously have a lot of stuff to start working on. I've got people's rewards to try and fulfill. I have to make room for like streaming with the people and the stuffs and the, the thing comes out of the thing. I don't know. Um, that'll be figured out later. <laughs> it is still in the early stages. So I will cut the video as soon as this is done. 
I don't know if there's going to be a dialogue or something first. Yeah, there is. Brittany? Oh yeah, that thing. So this continent is clearly an elongated Australia. So they're gonna freaking die. Okay. So yeah, that'll be it for now. Um, like I said, hopefully next day will be more interesting, but hopefully this one was okay anyway. Uh, see you next time for this. I don't I don't know what else it would be. Hey guys, if you liked this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe and tell your friends about it and also support me on every single possible form of social media.